Subscribe if you hate intros. Funny story about this. The one that I lost in Washington, I might be getting back. I don't want to say too much just in case somebody's screwing with me, but he wasn't screwing with me. I actually got the A2 back. Oh yeah. Welcome home, baby. So the story actually starts like six months ago. My Prodigy A2, my baby. A little creepy vibe going on. We actually balled out during that round, I'm not gonna lie. But it wasn't until the last hole that I ended up losing it. I threw my approach shot on hole 18, I dinked my putt, and I ran up to go tap it in. Tapped it in, grabbed my stuff, took off. But it wasn't until three days later that I realized I left my A2 at the number one rated course in Washington. Prodigy A2, my baby. I've had that disc in my bag for four years. RIP. I called the police, I called the SWAT team, I put out an Amber Alert, hired the mayor to shut down the town of Shelton Springs just to find this disc. But, uh... It never popped up until four months later. I got this random email from somebody claiming that they had found my A2. I honestly thought the guy was screwing with me because it's like the perfect opportunity. I'm over here crying about my A2 and then somebody's like, hey, found your A2 and then I get all worked up. It's like the perfect, literally the perfect way to troll somebody. And I took the bait. I could not risk the opportunity of missing out on my A2. So I shot him an email back, gave him all the information. And he was like, yeah, dude. I'll go ahead and give it to you. But then a month goes by and the disc has still not shown up at my house. Now I'm starting to think that this is the perfect troll. Because now I'm thinking, all right, what if he's like one of those serial killers who will like commit a crime and then pull up to the crime scene just to kind of watch everything go down like a weirdo? Maybe this dude just dropped a little seed in my head. Now he's watching all my videos of me talking about it and he knows I'm never getting the A2 back. But that's when I drop a very subtle threat in one of my videos. I actually had a guy email me saying that he found my A2 and that he's gonna send it to me. But it's been like a month. He's not answering my emails anymore. So give me one reason why I shouldn't list his email and have all of you guys message him. And I knew you guys would have done it too. You guys in the comment section are freaking hilarious. I wanted to so bad, but I had to be the bigger person. And maybe that was good karma because not too long after that, my knight in shining armor or a guy who works for the freaking mob messages me. He goes, hey man, saw your Shelton video. Did you ever get your A2 back? I'm the course warden. And basically saying he thinks that he can help. I tell him, nope, I haven't gotten my A2. Hopefully you can work your magic. And let me tell you right now, this man worked his magic. He immediately messages me back and goes, what's his name? I send him the guy's name and that's when he goes, let me find this mofo. Not gonna lie, it kind of got me pumped up. I was like, all right. So I messaged him back and I said, go get him. Dude, I shit you not, 10 minutes later, he messages me and says, found the kid. Immediately following that up with, I've tracked it down. At this point, I'm losing it because I'm immediately picturing this guy like duct taped up in his basement with this guy standing over him going like, where's the A2? At the same time, I'm low-key kind of impressed because this dude's ability to find the disc was crazy. Like, how did they not hire this man to find that submarine? I'm just joking. Anyways, at this point, I don't even think I messaged the guy back. I was actually low-key kind of scared because I was like, who is this man? But then he follows it up with another text message of a picture of this in a package saying she's on her way. And yeah, so I got my A2 back. Oh.